All right, real quick. Yeah. Why, why are you here? I'm here to get a, a preemptive teaching lesson before tonight's Zoom meeting. What, at 6 p.m. is not good enough here? I think I need a little extra help sometimes, you know? Uh, you know what? You're all right about that. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. I appreciate that. Hey guys, Shane DeMille for the Staten Island Advance, and this is another episode of Recipe for Disaster, sponsored by Top Tomato. Thank you, Top Tomato. It is your famous recipes, Staten Island famous recipes, recreated in my kitchen, hence disaster. We are at Venom on Bay Street. We're gonna talk to the owner, Massimo, who's doing a cooking class on Zoom tonight. I need a little extra help. So I'm gonna go inside ahead of time and see if I can figure out how to do this dish. Okay. Uh, this is Massimo Felice here. We are at Venom, the Italian authentic restaurant here on Bay Street. This episode of Recipe for Disaster, we are doing seafood and pasta. And this is the best guy that I could find for that. Yep. It's not seafood and pasta. It's pasta. Linguini seafood. pescatora. Linguini pescatora. Right. Pronounce it the right way. He gets mad if you don't do it the right way. Okay. And I'm going to help you as much as I can. As much as you can. As much as I can. As, what, what is as much as you can? What is it that? means I cannot guarantee you're not going to mess it up. Okay, thank you. Ah. Salute. Ching ching. All right, here we go. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very disappointed. I'm disappointed that you think anyone in the Zoom class is gonna be able to do this. I'm disappointed that <laughs> I saw all the steps it took to make this and you think I'll be in my kitchen less than three hours? You couldn't start with something easy. It had to be an 18 step recipe that you think that- oh, This is easy. Well, to this delicious meal and uh, to what you're about to witness me try in my kitchen. Cheers, everybody. All right, back in my kitchen where I'm making the linguine pescatori that Massimo is making tonight on the Zoom class. He gave me a whole kit. I have everything. I have the shrimp, I have the mussels, clams, uh, linguine. I, I have everything. He gave me wine to cook with, to drink with. He even gives you a platter of meat that you can have. It's, dude, I got it. He gave that, he gave that to me. This is empty. All right, well, he gave me a platter to eat that my friend just finished. Uh, he's actually gonna be taste testing it tonight because Rebecca, behind the camera, doesn't eat seafood. And regardless, she probably would say it doesn't taste good anyway. So my friend who loves seafood is gonna try it later. Hopefully he didn't fill up on the meats. All right, let's get into it. Start off garlic, oil, a little bit of red pepper flakes. How much is whatever you want. Throw some mussels in there. Keep the mussels in first. Which one is that? Is that a mussel or a clam? clam. That's clam. There we go, nice. Put some baby clams in there. Move it out. A little white wine in there. Oh, good. That is definitely not doing what his did. I was waiting for the fire to shoot in my damn face for that. This is fresh clam juice with chopped clams. Clam sauce, clam juice, he said. Get a whiff of that. <coughs> oh my god. That smells like not cleaning out my trunk from the beach last summer. That's that's all that's going in there. The wine looks pretty much burnt out. Pl little plum tomatoes. Now you come over here. Throw some calamari. Galamad or calamari? How do you pronounce that again? We did this one time, right? Go on. Okay. <laughs> calamari, okay? Yeah. Listen, how much calamari, how much clams? Listen, the richer, the better. So the scalp, when you get them, has got this little muscle on the side. You may not know this. Now, if you leave it on, what happens? Eh, you'll be fine. But in the restaurants, you take it off. You can leave it whole, but I cut it like that. They cook nice and fast. You get a lot more of it. Throw some scallops in there. Here's the shrimp. I slice them this way, long ways. Boom, throw them in there. Eve, if I'm not mistaken, that simmers for two minutes with a little bit more salt that we will add. And we're gonna let that go for two minutes before we add the pasta. He adds a special ingredient that he wouldn't tell us what it is. And I do have a special ingredient. And I'll tell you exactly what it is. Just a, li just a little bit, um, you know, a little cognac, a little sweet, a little sweeter for me. There we go, just a little, a little, a little tad, a little tad. Let's get the pasta in. Ah! All right. So leave that one there, leave that, I'll clean it up later. This is still simmering, medium heat. We've got a fire. We've got a piece of spaghetti. We got that, Rebecca? There's a piece of spaghetti on fire. That's, hang on, wait, let me try to fish that out. Okay, we got another piece on fire. No, not working. That's, leave, 
get that out of the way. I take these out because I want to make the platter look nice. All right, so let's see if this is ready to go, see if it sticks to anything. No, it's just hot pasta. It's just hot pasta that falls on top of you. I take it out when it needs about a minute more to cook because I like the, the spaghetti or the linguine to hang out and continue cooking for about a minute in the sauce. Combine, this is it, this is the last step. Then we get ready for the nice platter plating. We're gonna put that in there. Let that get nice and hot and steamy. A little more parsley on top. So that's it, that's linguine pescatore a la vinum. Um, I'll let you know what I think first. Hot water burnt my face. That's damn good. A lot of flavors going on here. So I added a good amount of hot pepper. It's spicy. The white wine comes back with the sauce and the tomatoes and the sweetness. Oh man, that's fantastic. I guess the clam sauce added something. Uh, the friend loves seafood. The biggest seafood fan I know is gonna taste this. And he's gonna let you know what he thinks. I think you did a pretty good job. Oh, that's what we're talking. See, I gotta get friends in here, man. That's what I'm talking. What did you first of all when I was cooking it? What did you think it was gonna turn out like? <clears throat> I thought it was gonna be a uh, part of my language show, but you did well on the pasta. It's al dente. Uh, seafood is perfectly cooked. The scallops was very tender. It wasn't overcooked, and yeah, it's pretty good. Give me a one to ten home chef score. One to ten to be be honest. honestly. I'll give you a six out of ten. So you say all these nice things and I get a six. Why, why, why not high? A little undersalted, it needs a little more seasoning. Uh, besides that. I don't care what he says. It's mean to me anyways. Uh, thank you to our sponsor, Top Tomato, for always supporting us. And thank you to Venom for sending the ingredients for this episode. But guess what? We're not done yet. Because Chef Massimo is hosting a Zoom class tonight, teaching everyone how to cook this. And I'm going to pop in and let them know what I think about it. This is what I got. Just, just look at it real quick. It was hell in my kitchen. Okay, there's, there's a mess all over, but I, I think the finished product came out okay. How's that? I wrapped it up. It's for my wife for later. Red sauce. How are we looking, man? I gotta tell I, you, Shane. Listen to me. I'm gonna give you a nine for the presentation of that wonderful dish. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's in a, it's in a cereal bowl that I use for cinnamon toast crunch. All, right. all right, guys. Say goodbye to Shane. Goodbye, Shane.